Hello, my friends. Rick Billings here. Hey, I want to talk about uh, becoming an entrepreneur. You know, I, I see so many people that, um, you know, get passionate about something. They decide to join a business uh, to, you know, build a business, share products, and then all of a sudden they they lose that passion. They they lose that interest. And, and you know, you got to stop and think about, you know, the mind is an amazing thing. You know, through history and through, you know, books, Think and Grow Rich. I challenge everybody, if you haven't read that book, you know, you need to read that book by um, Napoleon Hill because thoughts are things, okay? And, and, and what he talks about in that book is that, you know, as you, you know, the things that you put into your mind that you surround yourself with on a daily basis become reality of what things happen. You know, people go through life and, you know, things... You know, somebody says something, somebody doubts them, and they feel, oh my goodness, I can't do that. And and other people put doubts in your mind and and, and try to bring you down. And and the thing you got to think about is you got to reach in and you got to think about all those times that you've had success, that you've had, you've succeeded at things throughout your life, because great entrepreneurs don't let things bother them okay you might see some rhinos in the back of my uh, in the background of my shelf back here because many years ago a lady uh, gave me a book called rhinoceros success and it talks about rhinos and cows it's a scenario about rhinoceroses and cows and have how cows are in a pasture saying I'll do that someday you know I'll do that and it never happens and rhinos are out there weighing 6,000 pounds having skin two inches thick and not letting anything bother them okay I don't care you know yes you got to build a business right and you gotta you got to put the effort into it but you can't let other people put things into your mind okay that will make you doubt what you're doing okay it just you you have to be in control of yourself okay so you know and that's done in a lot of ways I mean it's done by watching you know some motivational videos on YouTube uh, surrounding yourself by you know positive uh, people that you know are how you want to be that you can gain knowledge from them okay and taking action that, that's important also is taking action. There are people that, you know, I've been self-employed my entire life. Almost, uh, you know, 30, 30 plus years I've been self-employed. And so I always think in my mind, I have to manufacture the paychecks that I get. Meaning it's my efforts that go into the paychecks that I get. The first career I had was a professional photographer. I had a lot of people working for me, okay, under that, having a bricks and mortar environment. And, you know, I was responsible for those people and I had to, you know, do certain things and surround myself with good people to run my operations, stuff like that, which I did. And that's how people do in the, you know, bricks and mortar environment. But now I'm self-employed in the network marketing industry. And in my opinion, the network marketing industry is the most powerful industry that you can be in in today's new economy. It really is. There's so many people getting displaced through technology and they're not getting trained into doing new things. But network marketing doesn't care what your past was like. It does not care at all your past. It only works on your future. Meaning the actions you take, the passion that you have about building a business. Okay? And trust me, you learned how to ride a bike. You can learn how to do network marketing. So long as you want to. Okay? People get in, they get started, they have a couple people that doubt them, they don't have immediate success, and they quit. And to me, that's a loser. That's a loser. Winners don't quit. Winners do not quit. They do whatever it takes every single day to take action, to increase their, change their mindset. Mindset's very important. My friend Robert Allen talks about mindset. He's an expert in the mind. And you should tap into his information because it's about the mind that controls what you do. And you have to shield out all the garbage that's out there. Okay? And, and, and know that you have something that you can help and share with other people. Folks, you know, business is about helping people. The economy has changed. The industry has changed from an information 
um, industry to a helping and servant industry. Trust me, you're seeing a shift. People that are succeeding in business today are helping other people. I don't care if it's helping people cipher through information on the internet, if it's helping people get earn more money, become a successful business person, you know, gain health, whatever it is, when you stop to think about business, business today is about helping other people, okay? There's so much information out there. There's so many people displaced, as I said, by technology that don't have the money to retire. The average person that works their lifetime, hits age 65 to retire, has $41,000 in assets. Folks, that is enough to barely survive. And we truly have a better way in network marketing. It's not perfect, but it's a better way. And so lift yourself up every day, surround yourself by great information, shield out by just ignoring other things that happen. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Think about the positive, get passionate about something, and continue to move forward, and you will succeed. That's what becoming an entrepreneur and being an entrepreneur is all about, is doing the thing steps every day by taking action in a positive, forward-moving environment to build your business. Share what you have. You don't need to know everything about your business to succeed. When I started my photography business, I mean, I I was at it for a long time, but I didn't know everything. But I wasn't as scared to make mistakes. I wasn't as scared to fail forward. Do you think Michael Jordan made all of his baskets that he shot? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. You think, look at baseball players that have a, 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 you know, a, uh, 300, uh, you know, a uh, 300% batting average. Okay. That means they missed 70% of the time when they were up to bat, but they still made millions of dollars. Okay. So the point is, is in business as an entrepreneur, keep moving forward. If you fail, it doesn't matter. Turn that into a learning experience, write it down in your journal. So you don't make that mistake twice. Failure is making the same mistake over and over and over and expecting different results. That's obviously also the definition of insanity. Because if you're not producing results you want in life, in anything you do, you better change. Think about it. You better change. So the message here is to, you know, keep moving forward. Surround yourself by positive people. Reach down, get that passion inside of you, and know that your actions that you take on a daily basis is going to result in the success you have in life. So good luck to you in anything that you're doing.